Yeah, I'm Jen Ferris and my husband is Jason. We have three little boys, Jameson, Connor, and Camo. Um, and we've been coming here to Life Church for about six years. I am a hairstylist. I've done that for 15 years and it's by the grace of God that I found myself here. I tried Life Church on a whim <clears throat> after going to another church that I had been at for a long time and we just loved it. It was the fit. Um, I grew up in church so it was nice to find some place that I felt like I could fit in, not just my family. This spring we found out we were expecting, we were really excited, um, our family of five was going to be growing and secretly I, uh, I wanted this child so bad. <clears throat> Um, but unfortunately we found out towards the end of the summer that we were carrying a child that only myself and God would hold. I elected finally, hesitantly, to have the surgery. I was devastated and I was angry and I was confused and I was scared. And we went to the hospital and it was early, early in the morning and while my nurse was very nice, she was also doing her job. We woke up from the surgery and was within a half an hour out the door with nothing more than a bereavement pamphlet and told to do nothing for 24 more hours. We had had two live births at the same hospital that we lost this child at. They bake cakes and they make you dinner and they send you home with all the needs that you need. But nothing more than a bereavement pamphlet when you lose a baby. 24 hour hold. <laughs> That's how I felt. And I just wanted a good book and a cup of coffee and to get lost for a little while. And my husband, he offered to go get me a good book. And I was scared because the last one he came home with was Psyology from Duck Dynasty. And all I could think about was somehow I want to make this better. And I gave my negativity to the Lord. It wasn't immediate, but it happened, and when I did, I said, you know, use me. Use my experience, God, to help other women get through this so that they don't have to feel unloved. Luke 8.50 says, do not be afraid, just believe, and she will be healed. Gotta do it. <laughs> Let's just, you know, figure out a good way. And so I kept feeling like I was being nagged. <laughs> Um, kind of pushed from behind and during that time Mike was talking a lot about being bold in Christ and following the steps and are you listening to what is being said and um, every week I would be like yeah <laughs> I'm listening but I don't know how I'm gonna make this work um, and finally one night I said Jason it's been laid on my heart to start a free little library and he laughed <laughs> because uh, I can't even pay my library fees <laughs> down at the public library. So I met with Mike one Sunday morning and said, I'd like to plant a little free library. And he said, okay. It was easy, it was, it was so easy. And I came home and said, it's a go. And Jason started the build and we have been solely running on only donated books something that we wanted to do for the community. We wanted to give back. And then we started Cups of Hope, which is right here at Life Church um, through Cafe of Hope. They are $5 gift cards, Goodwill, Pay It Forwards, whatever you want to call them, that um, we collect and then take to the local doctor's offices. And when other women go through DNC surgeries or miscarriages, they receive their cup of hope at their two-week post-op appointment so that they can come here to Life Church and get a free book and a good cup of coffee and know that we want to love on them because I really believe that if we love on her when she's hurt she will be fed in a bigger way and I have been blessed by this a hundred times over whether it's with a anonymous book donation or you know, a client leaving $20 behind saying, use this for your cup of hope. I know if it's healing my heart still now, then it's got to heal others' hearts, others' hearts later. <laughs>
You can get involved by donating your old books. It doesn't matter what they are. They can be novels or anything that's just a light, easy read. Self-help would be good. Um, but it was for the community, so we annexed a little kid library onto the side of our big library so that anybody and everybody can use it. Of course, you can always do donations to the Cafe of Hope. They are already set up with our gift cards for more women to receive Cups of Hope. I think Jesus, Jesus died on a cross. God lost his child too. He knows what I'm going through. He knows my heart. He knows your heart. You can just learn to give it all to Him. All of it to Him. He will heal you. He will let you be blessed. He will, he will wipe it away.